can I get a bit of a show of hands? Um, for 1A, I see the answer we've got up on the board is 17 and a half square centimeters. Agreement? Woo! Agreement? Yeah. Yes, okay, yeah. thank you very much. Now, really important, hands down, really important you remember, not just to be good at actually doing the computation, like 7 times 5 divided by 2, okay? Um, we want to know why. Why is it that you take these numbers, you multiply, why don't you add them, for instance? Why don't you add those lengths? Why do we multiply them? Anyone remember? Yeah, Frank. Because it's from the textbook. Because it's from the textbook? So that leads me to my next question, which is, why does the textbook say that? Do say what? Why? <laughs> Pens out of hands for a second, because this is a vitally important question. Even those of you, in fact, maybe especially those of you who got this right, I want to know why it's right. Molly, do you want to suggest? It's more of a spatial type thing. You can't get a space by adding two lengths. Ah. Yeah, that's why it's like squared. Okay, yeah, good. The question is about area, right? Think all the way back to when we started measurement, and I said to you, length is about one dimension, right? Back and forth. And area is not about one dimension. It's about two, right? So that's why you need a dimension going this way, times a dimension going that way. No matter how many lengths you add together, you'll still just get another length, which is what we're going to get to over here, yeah? So that's what I'm multiplying. You divide by two though. What was that about? Where's the division coming? Yeah. Because it's a triangle, it's only half. Yeah, it's half of, it's half of what? What is it square. half of? A square. Ah, well, it could be a square. Oh, it's half of a Yeah, thank you. I think, Jared, I heard it there. That's a bit leaning over. Sorry, you get the idea. It's half of a rectangle, right? You can see, in fact, I've divided it up. These two parts are the same. These two parts are the same. That's why it's half. Question. Isn't it a half of any four-sided shape? Uh, no, not for any four-sided shape. So for example, if you recall oh. a trapezium, right? No, it's not a trapezium. Dang. Now it's a trapezium, right? What makes a trapezium a trapezium again? What is it? Yeah. There's one set of parallel lines. Good. There's that pair of parallel lines there. Now, the area of a trapezium is not just multiplied together like a, a length and a width because there is no length or width. They're all, they're all different, okay? So it's a rectangle, not just anyone. Okay, that looks good. If you can't quite read this, it says 30 <laughs> square centimetres. Um, agreement? Yeah, hands yes. up. Okay, wonderful. Lots of hands. Thank you. Uh, this one here, this question has what we call a red herring in it, a bit of a false clue. You've got three numbers, but clearly you don't need all three numbers, right? So actually what this question is doing is not just working out can you, can you work out area, but can you work out which is important, which details are important, and which ones aren't. Um, this 13 doesn't get used in Nikhil's working over here. Why not? Why is it irrelevant? Yeah. Because we don't need it. Why don't we need it? That's true. Why don't we need that one? Darcy? Because you only need to times 5 by 12 to So we know 5 and 12 are the good sides, but I'm going to push on that question again. Why is it 5 and 12 and not, for instance, 5 and 13, or 12 and 13? Why did you choose those? Molly? Generically, you can't have three... Uh, things to times to get a two-dimensional area. Okay, good. So this is the same idea we looked at before. If you go this times this times this, you, like that's three lengths, that might be a volume or something like that. This is a 2D shape, okay? Yeah, and that's still that's not good, a yeah. Anyways, that's kind of like from that point to that point. Okay, if I wanted to use the 13, suppose I didn't have these guys. Just suppose. And I have got this. How I can still work out the area if I know something else. What would I need to pair this with in order to get its area? Anyone? We don't need what? Pythagoras. Can someone remember for me? Uh, this here, right? Seven times five divided by two. What's the actual formula that this is a representation of? What's the formula with letters and stuff like that in it? Area equals Hannah. Base times height on 2. Very good, right? So if I'm calling 13 the base, and it's a bit weird because it looks like it's on the top, but just turn your head, right? Just make that the base. Where's the height going to be? From the base, of the, from the middle of the 13th. Yeah, from here, it's going to go, inverted commas, it's going to go up, up, 
to the top. That's the top now, right? If this is the base, then that's the top. Do you agree? Like, can you turn? You can see that. Or if you've got it in your book, you can just you know turn your book, and you don't have to give yourself a neck ache. All right. So if that was the base, then this would be the height. I don't know what that is, and that's why I don't use the thirteen. It's not useful to me. Okay. That's why five and twelve are perfect. All right. Uh, last one. Forty-four. Thumbs up. Yeah. Thumbs up, yeah. yeah, wonderful. Again, there's a bit of a sneaky thing there, that 10 there is irrelevant. Again, my question is why? Why is that 10 irrelevant? Someone who hasn't said anything yet. Thomas. Okay, we're doing perimeter, right? And perimeter literally means you measure, does so anyone remember what peri means? Like a periscope helps you see around something, right? So a perimeter is the length around and the 10's in the middle. 